All right, so uh, it's 9.30 a.m. It's baking hot already. I'm actually all right because I'm naturally fairly cold-blooded, but uh, Mrs. Bait, she's burning up over there, poor soul. She's about to go jump in a big water fountain across the street. <laughs> but uh, contest starts at uh, 11.45 a.m. Uh, which is about, what, about an hour and a half from now. And um, lots of good competitive eaters gonna be here today. I'm probably gonna have to eat like 350, 400 oysters to stand a chance of winning, but looking forward to it. It should be a, a lot of fun. What's your prediction for the uh, <laughs> place, Mrs. Bid? Third place. Third place. If I get third, I'll be over the moon because I placed fourth at the last contest. Third would be good. I'm, I'm holding in second or first. I think I can do it. Oysters could be my uh, special discipline, maybe. <laughs> no. We'll see. So we're, we're backstage now. No, we're not. No, we're, not. We're, we're in the middle of a field. Um, just um, we're in a tent. getting ready for the contest. This is my main uh, main competition, Darren. And um, yeah, I think we're gonna eat in about half an hour. And I'm definitely hungry. Lynn's just got um, a chip chip butty. <laughs> so um, yeah, looking forward to eating. Make sure to check my channel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, check out uh, check out Darren's channel as well. He's dying for a for a shout out. <laughs> What's up, Bidhami? Welcome back to another video, and this is the Acme World Oyster Eating Championships, which is the reason I'm in New Orleans currently. Well, not currently. I'm back in England now. I'm doing the, the editing and stuff at home. But uh, yeah, this is the reason for my recent trip. This is my second Major League Eating event. The first one was the El Croquetazo Potato Croquet Eating uh, Championships in which I placed fourth, which was a podium finish. I placed in the money, got $250 for that, so I was over the moon. But I really wanted to improve on that in my second contest. And conveniently, you have to come top three here to win anything. You can see I'm struggling already. Look at my face. But uh, yeah, you win $500 for finishing uh, third place here. Can't remember what second place gets, but first place is $1,000, I think. Or maybe even $1,500. Can't quite remember. But uh, in terms of the uh, competition at this event, Next to me, to my left, is Michelle Lesko, who's pretty much the second best ranked female competitive eater in Major League Eating. And then to her left is the reigning champ and a good friend of mine, Darren Breeden. Darren Eats, go uh, check out his channel. But his technique is incredible. Hush! Couldn't resist. That drop in the music was just uh, too tempting. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is oysters, right? And if you watch the channel regularly, you might remember that uh, recently I actually practiced because I've not really eaten that many oysters before in my life. I practiced eating some Atlantic oysters, which were pretty salty, so I thought that would be the only problem. These are Gulf oysters. Uh, That's the only word I can use to describe this. These are the worst things I've ever eaten in my entire life. They're just like eating giant bogeys or just like shells full of snot. It, it, it was so bad that I can't even put it into words. I was fighting the urge to puke after like three dozen oysters. You can look at, look at my face there. And even Michelle Lesko is next to me there. Even she is struggling. And uh, she's like, she's a far better eater than I am, you know. But yeah, Darren, Darren is just like unstoppable when it comes to oysters. Look, he's just down there like a robot just going at these things. A robot that just really likes seafood. Specifically, mollusks covered in sand and uh, disgusting, gooey stuff. 
But uh, yeah, you can't really see the, the numbers at this point, but Darren is far ahead, right? He's on like 40 dozen oysters or more. Michelle is on 20 dozen. I think I'm on like 14 at this point. But thanks to my counter to the right there, he's telling me that Crazy Legs Conti, who is an absolute veteran competitive eater, really nice guy, was a privilege to eat with him, let alone be ahead of him. He is two behind me, right? And at this point, I just want it to be over. I'm not going to lie. Oysters are, are not my thing, specifically these oysters. But uh, Darren only actually beat me by 30 croquettes or something, 40 croquettes at the last contest. Here he ate like 350 more oysters than me. So he absolutely crushed me. But I got third place, best finish at a contest yet. So it was a good day. The fastest rising star of the present meeting today. The number five ranked in the world by Major League Eating, Darren Reed. And you can watch, ladies and gentlemen, in third place. From the United Kingdom, first time eating oysters competitively, with 14 dozen Louisiana oysters. Going back to Castleford. Okay, all right, so that's the it's gonna be the end of the uh, New Orleans mini series Contest was uh, it didn't go great. You know, I could have done a lot better, but oysters I almost threw up three times on stage. It's clearly not my kind of food, but um, we're uh, we're having a little treat now, a little Uber Eats duvet picnic. I got my $500 check there, my little uh, third place plaque, and a bunch of grilled cheese donuts <laughs> and sliders, and Mrs. Bird obviously has all this beige food here from Papa John's. Garlic knots, woo! Burnt garlic knots, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, Next time you see me, we'll be uh, we'll be back in England. I'm actually gonna be pretty happy to get back there though. No. In a weird way. No. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, Beard and Mrs. Beard, out. Bye. I'm stealing money or not? No. Well, I'm gonna steal jokes. Not <laughs> <laughs>